Okay, I think we have another call coming in. Scott from Dolphus, you're up on Sports Forum. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? Good. Good. I just I just heard uh, a guy from Del or Lima call in about Delphi St. John. Yes. And I was just wondering because I'm from Delphi and I hear a lot of stuff about how St. John's recruit. It's just it's just kind of weird. I mean, we're just because St. John's like a good school and all the time, or they won two consecutive championships. It just <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of tough just to hear that. <laughs> so do you do you have any opinion on that? Well, uh, Scott, with St. John's being a Catholic school, a private school, I guess I should say. Uh, that charge always surfaces when it comes to, to schools such as that, Cincinnati Moeller, Cleveland St. Ignatius, uh, places like that. You know, about 90% of the Dolphins community is Catholic. Uh, let's take into account all the Catholic kids who are playing for Dolphins Jefferson, okay? And not everybody's going to be able to pay the tuition at, at Dolphins St. John's. And Dolphins St. John's is probably very, feels very fortunate and lucky to get the kids that they do get. You know, some of the kids that are Jefferson are very good players for Jefferson. You know, they're from Dolphus, they're from, uh, uh, they're Catholic families in Dolphus, they're from Landeck, which is almost a totally Catholic village, so that's a street that goes both ways, that's a, that's a charge that's always going to be out there, but uh, I think the Dolphus community can be proud that for a school, uh, a community that small, they have two quality high school football teams, you know, two very good teams in St. John's and Jefferson, and uh, both these teams with the expanded playoffs this year will make a major statement, I think, as far as making a playoff run here in uh, our postseason competition. We're talking to John McCallum.